<clears throat> okay, it's my quick Sunday morning ride to church video. Um, my hair is a different color. Um, actually, it's closer to my natural color now. Um, working my way back to that. It's uh, it got a little dark on me, so. Um, today's fun after church is um, a photo walk <clears throat> which I haven't quite yet decided if I'm going to um, model or if I'm going to um, go as a photographer or if I'm going to do both which I have the option to do so yeah there's that I haven't done model photography for a while, so we might see. Um, yeah, I don't know. So it's like, we'll see what, I'm, what I feel like when I get there. And I might not even photograph models. It's, um, it's an urban walk because I don't live in an urban neighborhood. <laughs> um, for those of you that know me, I live in the suburbs. I don't live in the suburbs. Um, I live in the inner city of Memphis. So, um, yeah. I get a lot of urban in my daily, daily. So, yeah. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, there's supposed to be like 250-ish people there. We might show up and go, mm, no, not so much, and turn around and leave. Uh, that, that might be how that goes, because I'm not all about um, fighting 250 people for a picture. Um, yeah, it doesn't sound like a lot of fun, does it? I did make an interesting post. Um, I am part of a um, photography group on Facebook. And I did make an interesting post. It's photographers and models. And um, I uh, don't know what else I've got my glasses on. So um, I'm 45 in a couple months. A lot of people don't believe me when I tell them that, but it's the God's honest truth. I have a son that will be 25 um, in June, and um, I will in turn be 45 in July. And um, so I. Um, I'm not young like a lot of the models that show up for a lot of these shoots. And I find myself standing around talking to the photographers but not getting shot. So I made a post last night, um, attached a picture of myself, and asked something along the lines of, did I miss the memo? <laughs> Um, about, you know, photographers not shooting women that are super young. Um, I did get some rather good feedback from some, a lot of photographers. Not like 20 or 30, but, you know, a good number of photographers that said they prefer to shoot, um, women over 30. Uh, some that prefer to shoot women over 40 because um, those women have more experience um, those women are um, more they know how to have more motion in their shoots sorry I'm backing into a spot um they, um, basically give the photographers more of what they're looking for 
when they're shooting their pictures. Um, which makes sense. Um, I shoot everybody. I'll shoot anybody. Um, as a photographer because I believe that everybody should have beautiful pictures of themselves. I think that no matter how old you are, what size you are, what gender you identify with, um, whether you're straight or gay or lesbian or trans, that you deserve to have beautiful pictures of yourself. That's me. I shoot families who have children with special needs. That is my genre um, because I have a child with special needs. And I know how hard it is to find a photographer who will, um, who will shoot your family and not charge you an arm and a leg. Um, that is, that was always my problem. You can't go to a Olin Mills or Sears, not Sears anymore, but you know what I mean. You can't go to one of those kind of places and pay a flat rate and get amazing pictures. You just can't. Um, I never have been able to. Um, I generally look to my other friends. I know how to set up our pictures. I know how to get my kids to smile. I know how to do the things I need to do to get a good picture. So that's what I did. Um, a lot of my family pictures are taken off of a cell phone by a family member. That's how I get pictures of us together. Um, if you happen to go to my personal Facebook page and you see my cover picture of me and my kids, my mom took that picture off of her cell phone. Um, it's difficult to get a good picture when you have a child with special needs. It takes a lot of times another parent who has a child with special needs and understands that your child has special needs to get that out of your kid. So that's why I, that's why I specialize in, in that area. Um, of course, that's not the only thing I do. So, and everybody has a genre in which they take pictures. Some people do sports, some people do school photography, some people do models. Um, I try to do a little bit of everything. I, I do some sports, I do weddings, I do... I do a little bit of everything. Um, I, I make movies. I, I model. I, I didn't model until a friend of mine, uh, until I had a moment in my life where I was going through a medical situation and I wanted to remember what I looked like before. And I um, had a friend take pictures of me, and I said, don't put those pictures on social media. And the first thing he did when he got home was put the pictures on social media. Then I became a model. Um, and I thank him for that. Um, he's no longer with us, but I do thank him for that because it got me comfortable in front of a camera which got me comfortable in front of a movie camera and got me into acting and it's taken me and my boys to places that 
we would have never gone had I not gotten out from behind a still camera. So, that was a blessing in disguise. And um, we joined our photography businesses and he passed away in January and now I'm back out on my own um, with my photography business, which I just recently decided to do. So, even though I had been doing my special needs photography all along, um, I decided to go back out on my own with everything. So, it's, it's a lot. It's, it's a lot in one year. It's a lot of decision making. It's a lot of things to do. But, it's a happy beginning. It's a happy new thing to do. So, Hopefully today will be a happy new thing to do. And hopefully I can go out and I can maybe model a little bit today. Maybe photograph a little bit today. And do some fun things. So I hope everybody has a good Sunday. And do something fun. And I hope tomorrow you have a good Memorial Day and remember what the day is about. Uh, being a, a daughter of a retired Marine, Marines never retire, they're always Marines. Um, I don't know if you can see in the back, right about there, that is the Army Star and that is the um, 101st airborne sticker um, my son is an army veteran so not only am I a Marine Corps daughter but I am a mother of an army veteran so remember that tomorrow is a day not just to cook out and have fun with your family but it is a day to remember all of the men and women who served our country and in, in my mind who are serving our country for our freedom to cook out and have fun with our friends and family and to speak our minds and whether you agree with what's going on in this world or not, whether you agree with our military or not, you have that right to, do, to speak your mind because of their decision to join the military and to fight for your freedom to do so. So just keep that in mind tomorrow as you're celebrating Memorial Day. And I love you all and have a good weekend, have a good Sunday, have a good Memorial Day.